All right, let's get into it. Hey, hi. Hey, how are you, Thomas? Um, thank you so much for joining the podcast. As you can tell, I got a bit of a date right after this podcast. Getting so ready. M, what what does M stand for? Michigan, uh, national Michigan. championship game. So okay. right after we record, uh, I'm jumping on the couch, watching my game, watching my guys. Yeah. But since we're recording now, uh, Thomas, I don't know if you are aware of my podcast, but before we get started, we start off with giving what we like to call the over-the-top intro. For guests such as yourself, we like to butter your bread. We like to get it, get it going. Of all the accolades and some of the cool stuff that Juden did, is that okay? Whoa, 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 boy! I'm a, I'm a shy European. Uh, <laughs> uh, I have no idea what to do. No idea at all. Just sit uh, right there. Let me say yeah. some cool stuff, and we'll get right into it. Okay? Okay. Okay. You do it. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my next guest is possibly France's greatest export. He is an award-winning director, producer, and writer. He's a second generational st stage and screen directing superstar. His notable works include Carnival, Bodyguard, Possession, Reacher, and the project we are here to talk about today, Role Play, premiering January 12th exclusively on Amazon Prime Video. Thomas Vincent! Welcome oh. to the podcast. Hello. I feel like I'm going to, yeah, play a basketball game right now. That's the feeling you if, should if, have. If, if, if only I was a bit taller. Yeah. Thomas, that's the feeling you should have because just as excited as I am to introduce you to mm -hmm. my audience, I'm very excited to talk about this movie role play. I got a chance to watch the screener. I got a chance to enjoy this movie. Well, more than once. I watched it more than once, mainly preparing for this and just for leisure, you know? And like, it was so many elements of this movie. I'm doing my best not to spoil it, but let's get into it. What brought you to this project? Um, I really loved the script when I first read it, to be honest. Uh, so it was not like it was a first draft. So it was not exactly what it is, what it has become. The first, second half has changed quite a lot. But I think there was one thing to, to it which really drew me to it. It was that... It was, it was a very exciting story. It was fun. It was there was action. There was comedy, but most of all, it was about family. It was about couple. It's it's the story of a couple. They've been together for seven years. They have kids. They love each other dearly, but seven years, and they need to find a way to, you know, get the magic again, and and they go and they decide to role play. And that's when everything goes wrong because when they're not exactly who uh, they're supposed to be, whether pretending to be someone else, then the truth about their marriage comes 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 out, right. and it's something very unexpected. So I got to be honest, like when you read that script, what made you was like, oh, I'm the guy to direct this? I mean, like because I mean, when you hear those elements of those things, and quite honestly, I rock the ring too. So I, I know a little bit about the subject matter. I should say I'm 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 not a secret agent or anything like that. Yeah. But I mean, like, I mean, I get it. I get what they were going through. So what made it was like, oh, I could direct this. What 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 sparked in you? I really love the the scene in the bar with Bill Nye. You know, it's the the the, the thing that makes you as an actor, as a director, uh want to make a movie. Is is it's not something completely rational. It's you know there are good reasons. Yeah, I like this. I like that. I like that. But I fell in love with this story there in this scene in the in the bar, because I don't know there was something that was so smart about the way it was written. It was so tempting. It was like you know it, like it was tickling me somehow, and and I wanted to see this film th th this scene, and I felt that. I had what it took to make it good uh, because it's it relies a lot on acting, which is the part of my work that I really like the most, working with actors on such long scenes with, which rely on lines and, and, and what is being said, what is being not said, what people hide. And, and I, yeah, that's the scene that I wanted to, wanted to see on screen. Uh, and also, which is, what, what is, really uh um 
striking is that we all knew when we were shooting that this was the key scene of the film. Like this is where the scene works or doesn't work. This, you know, this is a failure. Uh, um, uh, what's the expression in English? A uh, break or win, whatever, something like that. Uh, moment, okay. like, you know, it's the scene that the film is never going to be better than this film, th this scene. And so you really need to up your game there. And then, you, because as an audience, that's where, I think that's where an audience will bond with a film, really. Because this scene is so, it's so, it's so cool. It's funny because it's nothing much, right? It's three people talking in a bar. It's like, there's nothing so special about this. But the ingredients are there. Right, the right. Movie. See, and, and the fact that, you know, like nobody's exactly who they, the other thinks they are, and that thing, which everything plays on several different levels, which is really exciting. See, yeah, that scene is pivotal, but, I, and we'll get to that in a second, because I got to like word, I got to wait to word that question so I don't spoil anything. But how was the chemistry on set um, between Kelly Coco and Davio Yolowo, mainly because these are two very different actors from very different worlds. How did though, how was the chemistry? How did they meet up? It's a, it's a great question. Um, like they, their approach to their work is completely different. Couldn't be more different. I mean, I mean, uh, um, Kaylee is an, like a massive pro, like Hollywood style pro. Like she knows a thing. She knows who she is. She knows her strengths, her weaknesses. She knows where to go. She's got that twinkle in her eye, which is, she says, like in our words, uh, which is like what took her there, what, what took her all the way where she is, that twinkle. And and she knows like she knows how to rely on it. She knows how to cater it. And uh, and she doesn't want to uh, she relies a lot on her instinct. And and like it's not that like some bad actors can rely on their instinct and just be lazy. It's not Kaylee's case at all. Uh, like she is very aware that that's where she's that's where she's good. Uh, and she doesn't want to talk too deeply about character situations, all that. Like she's like, don't go act, you know, actor studio on me. She doesn't want to go there. Uh, and she wants to do things. And and I think she works, she has her own process, but on her own. And David is the complete opposite. Uh, David is able to question every comma, every word, every letter of the of the script. And he's very like he wants to discuss it, make sure, you know, no stone is left unturned. Uh, and uh, and it's a completely different process uh, to, to me. Like I don't have as a director, I don't think you should have a process that to impose on actors, every actor, especially when they're, you know, like like. Fully fleshed actors like them uh uh they uh, they know what they need what they need from you as a director and and it's your job to adapt to each one and and so to find a way to communicate without going too deep uh with kaylee but it doesn't mean that it's, it doesn't take uh a lot of thinking it's it's, it's a paradoxical thing uh and on the other hand, to discuss everything deep, 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 deep down with uh, uh, with David, and then and then it worked on stage. What, what was really fun was that, and and great to see was that they were completely working together. Like, like it was uh, there was like, there, there was never a question, uh, and and they loved working together and they enjoyed working together a lot. I think it shows in the film. I mean, it's something that. You can hardly fake it. I mean, like we all know stories of, you know, films with people who are supposed to be in love and then actually they don't talk, talk to each other. Uh, at a, yeah, no, they were really uh, the best, you know, best friends uh, okay. on set. A lot of fun working together. And 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 I, to me, it was great to watch. And, and I had a lot of fun working with them. Well, just to take Kaylee, just by herself, who's known for a lot of comedies and maybe some lighter work or like light drama, if you will, from some of her work. What was it to put her more in the action space? Because there was a lot of, well, a ton of scenes where she was like a badass. She was yeah. just like, she. what was it like to take that person who's traditionally known for one thing and put her in this action 
Yeah. It's a good, yeah, no, it's a great question. I mean, I mean, and it was mine to begin with. Uh, it was my probably my first question to her. Like, like, do you want to go more serious than what you usually do? Uh, and and because this, you know, when I read the script, and she was already attached to it when I first had the project. So I said, like, it is slightly not completely different from what you usually do, but it's slightly different from what you usually do. Are, it, are you cool with that? Like, is it clear to you? And are we talking about the same thing? And and she was very clear that, yeah, yeah, that's what she wants. I mean, she's, you know, she's a very clever lady and she knows her way. She knows where she wants to go. And, and I think it's a very specific choice that she made. She wants to broaden her, you know, her range as an actress. And, and, and I think she was very smart in doing this. Now, uh, inversely, how was it taking David, uh-huh. who is known for the process-driven... Yeah. Martin Luther King. Yeah. <laughs> Luther King. That's it. I've been yeah. not saying that. I've been not saying that this entire uh, interview. But yeah, you take a guy who's known for doing these super serious biopics, dramas, what have you, yeah. and yeah, you yeah, make yeah. him, for lack of a better term, light and fluffy. He's the yeah, lovable he's, husband who, who who just doesn't know anything. He's just he's just around. Yeah. Well, it, my once again, I had that was also my first question to David. Uh, it was it was not uh, uh, um, uh, written for um, African American actor. Uh, it was like you know there was no specific race to the character, and and so when the idea of David came up. To me, like my first reaction was like, well, that's Martin Luther King. So is he funny? Uh, I mean, he's great, but is he funny? <laughs> and uh, uh, and so uh, his agent said, uh, I think you should have a, a Zoom call with, with David. Uh, that's the only that's the best way to answer that question. And well, I think in the within the first two minutes, like I was okay. Well, it's, it's gonna be fine. I mean, the guy's has got funny bones, basically. Like he's he's gifted for comedy, and. Is incredibly funny. I, I mean, this Zoom call lasted for like two hours, and I had a tissue to wipe my my eyes. I mean, like I was laughing too, so much. We were laughing together so much. I mean, he's he's incredibly gifted for comedy. Like he's basically as an actor, he's incredibly gifted for everything. Uh, so because you know, like you see everything he, he everything he does right now, right? Uh, so you know that no that was that was uh, uh, that was easy like I didn't have to bring him you know I, I don't have I don't deserve any credit for that he did it all uh, and he had it all from day one. Now one of the things is you're known for yourself um, of having techniques for action projects such as Bodyguard and Richard as I talked about earlier. Um, did you find a way to kind of incorporate those techniques in this film? That way. Uh-huh. In, to make it a little bit more comfortable for those who may not know. Uh, to, to be honest, I'm not like I'm known in the U.S. and in, in the English speaking uh, uh, film industry as an uh, yeah for directing action pieces. But uh, I'm French, and before I did Bodyguard, I never did any action stuff. Like that was the first time I did action. To be honest, so that that's quite recent. Uh, and and to begin with, I'm a, a like I'm, I'm a drama director. That's what I that's what I started with. So that's my culture. Um, and and I never did comedy before this. Uh, so I you know every time I'm I'm trying to develop new tools for every film. So uh, that was. Uh, yeah, that was a bit of a first for me, uh, yeah. and um, and it's not there is action in the film, but it's not predominantly an action movie, right? right? Like, like it's like, you know we're not competing with John Wick. Uh, it was never no, but yeah, it was never the idea. Uh, action in this film, action is supposed to be more fun than spectacular, right? It was never yeah. At some point we like we've been like you know it's in every film you need to choose exactly. How you balance things and 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 we like question the thing a little about about the the level of action in the film at some point during prep and and so on, like uh, how far do we push it? And at some point it felt like we shouldn't go try to make it too big because 
it's about the characters. It's about the fun. It's about their journey. It's about everything. And at some point, you have action scenes, of course, and they should be great and entertaining and thrilling and everything. But it's not the point. Right. So let me ask this question this way. What were some of the most challenging scenes in this film? Mm. Without giving too much away now, remember, we got we to gotta yeah, keep yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. boy. I know. Uh, <laughs> uh I would say, sorry, I, I, it, it, it may come as a disappointment to you. Uh, it was the uh, the scene, the bar scene, the one I've been mentioning already, right. because it was so important. Uh, and I knew that that was, once again, the film would not be better than this. This is where we, we get the audience on board with the story for good. Um, so this one was challenging. Um, and... Uh, um, uh, and the end scene, I won't tell exactly yeah. what it is about, between about. Ely and Connie Nielsen, uh, because, in you know, there's always that tricky uh, curve to negotiate uh, in, in, in many films of the scene where the back end of the plot is revealed, uh, how to make it interesting and yet you have a lot of information to convey and how to keep it like entertaining and not like, yeah, let's stop the story and we're going to explain you a whole bunch of things and then we can finish, you know, wrap it up. Uh, so that was technically as a director in terms of narration, in terms of how to maintain the the, the, the uh, attention of the audience. That was difficult. It's always a difficult thing to to negotiate. But, uh, but yeah. Yeah, you We've been dancing around this all interview. I just got, I'm just going to come out and ask you. Okay. Bill Nile, it, it, he was so amazing in this film. Just, just, uh, just, we talked about the scene already, uh, but he's just, he's, he's just playing awesome in anything he's in. Just, just to be honest. What was it like to direct him? Because what did you do? Just say, be awesome. See you later. What, what did you do? You know, it's that great thing. When you work with such a, a monument as Bill Nye, um there's always first the first question is you pray that is as great as you hope he will be as a human being that you know because it, you know bill if you if you don't know bill you think he's this guy seems to be an incredible gentleman right but you know there's always sometimes a difference between the image and who the people actually are uh and so my first thing was i hope he's not a prick and uh i pray he's not a prick and god knows like he's he's everything you hope he is like he is bill a bill yeah there's no you know there's like that's that's who he is he's great he's like he's the most one of the most charming men i know uh and um uh, and then uh, what's surprising and not surprising when you know actors a little, um, the most experienced and gifted and well-known actors are often the the most insecure ones. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and success uh, doesn't make you always more self-confident. Uh, and, 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 and Bill uh, was uh, was actually very anxious when he came to the set because there, also because like it was a huge you know like this bar scene is like i think it was 10 or 15 pages so it's a lot of lines and and the pace needs to be perfect uh and and like right there technically it was difficult uh and then it's also a difficult thing for an actor to jump into a a, a production uh, without knowing anyone yet, just hello, I'm Bill. Hello, I'm Kaylee. Hello, I'm David. Action. That's difficult too. Uh, everybody knows each other. Everybody's been working together for a while already, and then you're, you're the new guy, you're the new guy right? Uh, and they didn't know each other from before. Um, so, and so we had a few days to shoot that scene, uh, the bar scene, and during the first day, Bill like. We had been, you know, rehearsing together before, right. but like, jumped into it and he was good. But there was like something missing. Uh, like the end, you know, that bombastic energy he has in, in the scene right, was not right. quite there yet. Uh, like he was a bit subdued. I don't know. There was something that was like 
something lacking, which is always something sometimes difficult to point out what that, what exactly it is. But I was just came, yeah, Bill, it's great. Of course, it's great. I mean, Bill Nye, yeah, you know, it's even uh, even a lesser take of Bill Nye is also is already a great take. But like a little more, basically, the worst man, like a little more, give me a little more, and and it was right. not like he was. There was something that was not working, and and I could see that he was going down like a, a a difficult rabbit hole, like like he was losing confidence. So at some point we took a break, and then we had a little chat behind the set, and I said, and and I realized that he was really freaking out, and and I was like, Bill, it's impossible that you're not going to be great. It's absolutely because you know what, you're Bill Nye. Like, how can you not be great? You're going to be, you're going to be beautiful. You're going to be amazing. And so we got back to it. But, and at the end of that day, everybody was a bit frustrated. And uh, so we had a long chat that evening. And then the next day he called me on, on the way to, to, to set. And we, I was on my way to set as, as well. And, and we kept discussing like how, the word was bombastic how hmm. like witty and and fun and quick and uh and dangerous at the same time this character should be right and at some point i don't remember you know sometimes it's it's a word sometimes it's an expression that triggers someone else's imagination and i must have found found, found the right word at some point but sometimes at some point he said okay i think i get it and he came to set and uh, and we started like it was the second half of the scene, and and he made like one take of this, which was like at the end of the of the take, the whole crew was applauding, like and 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 before and and the 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 second after I cut, Kaylee and David like bursted to laugh, like because it was so incredibly good, and and he said yes, that's it, yes, now you found it. And so right away we shot again what we had done the previous day, saying, okay, now in the mind, you know, like that color at the beginning, let's do it again. Right. And we just do, did one take of everything else again. And this is what's in the film. So yeah, uh, even the most famous and greatest actors can have, can be fragile. Uh, I, they see, I see. And Thomas, I know we're getting up against it. So I only got a few more questions left. Um, I, I have to ask. Um, when it comes down to this movie, what is it that you want people to take away from um, viewing uh, role play? Mainly because I enjoyed it, but what what is your vision? What do you want the audience to take away from it? Um, I think it's a film about couples and that, you know, the rules of engagement between men and women are slightly changing today. For, and I think it's for the better. And beyond the fun and beyond the action and beyond the uh the comedy i think this is what this film is about and it's part of that conversation and i think it's what it's it's why it's relevant today and it's why it's, it's why it's good today rather than bef you know yesterday or tomorrow right. and and it's it's a film full of hope how men and women can you know still have things to do together if, even if you know things are changing okay okay and is there any other future projects we need to be looking out for from you, your social media, whatever you want to put out there, the floor is yours right now. Please go ahead. Uh, right now, you know, the strike has been uh, <laughs> pausing everything for us. Uh, so there's uh, uh, one project which I hope is really going to happen. There's James McAvoy attached to it and is another incredible actor i'd love to work uh, with and it's about the eddie gallagher case uh which you know that uh uh navy seals chief who uh, was accused of war crime and it's been a big thing here in the u.s and and it's a great limited series and i really love it to happen but i'm not sure so we'll see we'll okay. see about that well thomas this has been a treat i thank you so much for just giving me thank a little you. bit of your time this has been awesome Pleasure. And you're welcome back on the podcast whenever you want. The pleasure. And have a, good, a great game. Oh, man, we better. All right. Well, thanks, Thomas. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.